Hello everyone, we're back. For this part of the assembling of the umbrella, you'll need a strong scissor, whatever. It doesn't have to be this one. This is a Jim Holtz, but it doesn't have to be that. Just a strong scissor. You're gonna cut through a couple of layers here. You'll need your glue gun. So heat it up if it's not heated up yet. And let's get to it. So we left off where we glued our edges and this is still not glued. Our bottoms aren't glued. You're gonna match them up as best you could. Lay it down and now we're gonna go and glue the middle together so that it stays in this shape and we're gonna do Let's do that first, and then we'll worry about the sides. I'm using my glue gun for this, and I'm starting right at the edge here. And it's not a lot of glue, just to keep the little edges together. And as you glue in it, Make sure that your umbrella is touching whatever table or whatever you're working on. Why is that? Because you want to have a uniform shape on the bottom. You don't want it to go up and down. So just make sure that as you're gluing, you're maintaining it flush with the table. Any extra glue, just wipe it off. And what's this? This is a um, bit of cropper spatula. And this, just some washi that I put on it. You just glue in the bottoms. There is some extra glue coming out if, if you put a lot, like I have done, which I'm telling you not to do, but I did. And some came out, just wipe it off. So it doesn't make bundles down there and it doesn't look sloppy. I mean, if it bothers you, it would bother me. So I just go and clean it as I'm going along. I hope you're having a good day over here. It's beautiful here in Florida. Beautiful day. We've been having a little bit of wind these days. But it's just so nice. It's pulled off somewhat and it's really comfortable well I like it if you it like a lot of heat then I guess you wouldn't like it and the last one I'm just there holding it a second because we're working with the glue gun it's all quicker than without just holding it a second and then we're going to go to the other side and do the same on the other side of the umbrella thank you for joining me in style number two I will be answering questions that have been asked of me. If you have any questions, just leave them below. This is style two. If you have questions from style one, please make sure that you write style one and then the question. And if it's style two, you don't need to because that's what this video addresses. Okay, I think we're pretty dry. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the same here. go pretty quick so I could do a couple at a time if you're quick you could do a couple at a time too and if you just want to take it easy there's no problem with that either this is to enjoy it's drying nicely
just giving it a minute to dry because there's a lot of pressure down here on the paper I could feel it when I'm pressing on, on it with my hands also when I was putting on the glue I guess I kept pressing down to make sure that it stays flush with the table and that doesn't get a bubble effect as I go along I think we're good one needed a little more let's do a little more there Yeah, I got that tape, this washi tape, it's Little Diamonds, and I got it in Hobby Lobby. Sometimes I don't think of the things you're seeing and what you might be thinking, and I try to address everything, but of course, there's no way. Now, we should be good to go now. Yeah. And we have our sides here and we're going to be closing them also. So let's get to it. A little bit of glue right here and right here. Pinching them shut just a little bit. The whole idea is that it's open up here. I'm gonna work on this side. A little bit there, a little bit here. Pinch it shut. And of course, as you go along, if you see anything opened up, you just close it up again with a little glue. Just giving it a second to dry. Now, you're going to see here that as it was being formed, it takes like a, a kind of a oval shape here. And when you're going to put it to stand it up, because this one does stand, I'm using today metal pieces. The, other, the first tutorial I did with a plastic flower. And then, the, the plastic flower barely anybody could find one and it didn't have to be it's anything you have that will have a little weight to it not be too light so that it could stand on it even a washi tape the the larger circled washi tapes that have these uh, little pieces even that's good in this case see this one won't do because it's too small something that is this width so that you can rest it on it and give it that way balance <clears throat> All right, so why did I say that you needed a strong scissor? Just cleaning up a little bit, all the little pieces. A strong scissor, if because we're going to cut a little bit this edge to take off that oval finish there. See how it overlies right here? We're going to try to give it a more straighter finish so that it is easier to put on to wherever you decide you're going to put it on. So I'm going to cut, and I might cut twice. I might not cut it enough the first time, and that's fine. You do whatever you have to do to get your straight. Still a little bit off. So I'm going to take it this way. I'm left-handed, ladies. As some of you have noticed already, this side is good. See? Now we're going to this side. It's very little bit, not a lot that you're taking off. Just to get the curve a little bit out. I don't, I'd rather do it twice than to do too much. say it's a little bit it's really a little bit the so whole idea is just to try to make it straight as straight as possible so that when you glue it on your stand you don't have a problem all right 
I'm happy now with this. And I'm trying to do it so you could see. There we go. See? It's flush now. And that's what you're trying to find. That it be as flush as possible. It's not going to have to be perfect. Why? Nobody's going to see that. That's on the bottom. That's just you as the, as the person who makes it that knows that you've done that. Now, I have two metals. You could use anything. My friend D at these specialties actually uses uh, the spools and also I saw another lady on Facebook they take them apart and they wrap them in pretty paper and then they put them through the center on this one you notice that this one's wider so that's not gonna happen you're gonna look for something larger I I have another idea that will work well and it is the holder for business cards this is my card holder and if you notice it fits perfectly in there so there we go perfect right card holders uh any kind of any kind of thing it does not have to be something in specific any kind of thing that has a little bit of weight to it so that it can hold it and that you can know that it could sit in it with no problem. And then, uh, let me take it out of there for a minute. I just wanted to show you that. Now, look at what, what ease it opens now because it has these two extensions. Some ladies call these gussets, whatever you want to call it. Look at how much it opens now, how much you can put in there with the ease that I just opened up. Now, I'm not going to leave it on there because I do want to show you. and mind you see this one is tall this one's this tall so this one will impair how much I could open see you need one of those little ones that they sell so that you could open it like this and fold it up as much as you want now my plan today is to use uh, these filigrees why because I know a lot of you have them and I'm trying to address this issue about what am I going to put it in or on. Uh, if you find larger spools, because they are, I got these spools from um, from uh, Decofun. These are the spools they come on. I'm not sure if it's big enough, but let me see if it does. This one's not big enough. A little bit bigger, and it would have done. What are you really counting on? The little piece of of, of paper that's on the inside it's not the ribbon it's this that the spool is a little larger so that you could sit it inside of it and balance it you can put it on top of something and option the other option is which I did previously to doing the video is that you have two little squares left over from from the paper that you cut out and with those little squares, you can form one of these kind of, you see what it is, a little thingamajig here? It's not a big deal. And it sits. You need to put some cardboard or something on the inside and then wrap it with the paper that's left over. So actually, no paper will be left over. And then you're going to measure it and sit it inside and measure it. See? This one's a little larger because I'm not actually using it, but I wanted to do something to show you. This one will be cut right there. And there you go, your base. And look, this the base is made out of what? Out of paper. So you don't have to spend any money for this. Two pieces of paper will, two pieces of paper, 12 by 12, will make your whole project. And you'll have enough even for the base. If you don't have uh, a base, if you don't have a metals, if you don't have a plastic, whatever, if you don't have cabochons or something, you could do it right there. Now, let me show you how I'm doing mine. And of course, what, what you, whatever you have, you have tons of stuff around the house. You just gotta see what, what it fits in. Even um, uh, um, let me think. I'm just thinking, different kinds of of covers that we have at home. Whatever you have, it'll work. Correlated 
cardboard, some correlated cardboard wrapped up in the pieces of extra paper that you have, it'll work. I'm just holding it so it could dry. I think it's dry. Okay, let's move on. Okay, here's my two fill of grease. I'm going to put some glue around here. And I'm going to place it carefully right over the top. And I'm going to wipe that little bit off there. I don't want no bubbles to unlevel my umbrella. And along the sides, I didn't glue it, but I think I'm fine. Now, let me put glue on my umbrella. Glue it, glue it, glue it. Yeah. And put it on. And just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and let it dry. You gotta have a little patience on this part because I used all that glue I put in there. It needs to be held for that to dry, right? On this one, I'm not gonna show you how to decorate it in this video. If if a lot of you want to see me decorate it, I will. Leave a um, uh, um, comment below. So if, if you want to see this one decorated, leave me a comment below. And I will decorate it with you girls. And if not, I'll just show you one that I made last night. The prototype, I would say. But it came out beautiful. And I'll just show you that at the end of the video. As you notice, I already let it go, and as you notice, it's standing already. Now I'm going to unstick it a little bit, put it over here so that you can see it, and this is style two. And it opens as much as we want it to. So. I've heard that some of you don't have chenille stems. What can you use? My friend Becky Long actually used in hers some fl floral wire, she told me. Hi, Becky. And uh, she put it, she wrapped up the floral wire in the shape of an umbrella handle. And then she wrapped it up in lace. Today I'm going to show you how to do it my way. With chenille stems or pipe cleaners, however you call it. Uh, uh, let me get the things. For the handle, you're going to need two pipe cleaners or wire or whatever you have that is um, flexible. That's what you need, something that's flexible. I'm going to move over the umbrella for now. I'm sure you got the jits of that. And let's work on the handle. Two pipe cleaners. So just wrap them up like this. Because this is pretty long. You can fold that part. How much did I fold? Just a little bit. You can eye it. It's not really by measurements. Two and a half inches. Two and a half inches to make it a little stronger and sturdier. If it's too long, I'll fold it a little bit and make it thicker. All right, so that's that. Now, I chose this kind of lace, whatever you got. There's really no, no special lace for it. Wire in your craft store if you don't, if you can't find chenille, stems, whatever. Whatever you can get your hands on will be good. And I cut this diagonal shape here to make it easy to start with. And I'm going to start actually like that and keep wrapping. Okay? So let's go. Let's do this. If you have questions about the handle, I'm trying to address all of them, but if there's something I left out that you still want to know, leave it below in the comment section and I will answer you.
and this is just wrapping and wrapping and wrapping that's all it is that's all it is here we go pretty easy I think it'll be easier to fold it later because the little curve is kind of giving me some work there to go around so I'll just keep wrapping and we'll shape it later it's shapeable so that'll be good right and you start thinking about like what do you want to put do you want to put little flowers on the point of the handle do you just want to leave it with nothing it's all preference okay I always like to put a little something on on the handle I'm not sure why on the tip of the handle I always like to put something that's just me I don't know yeah it's much easier to do if you just leave the chenille straight or the wire straight whichever one you're using Unravel this a little bit. I like to make sure I have enough. Sometimes I take too much, and in this case, I think I took too much. So here we got it. One side's thicker because we bent it a little bit and one side's thinner. I'm just wondering if the thicker side will look better as the handle. And the thinner side could go inside, which I think I'm going to do that. You know those two inches we bent? I'm going to use that as the handle because it looks a little thicker. What do you think? Yeah, right? All right. And you saw how easily with the lace on we were able to bend it. I'm just going to tuck that in right there. Okay. And let's proceed to put it on the inside. All right. Put a little glue on. Find your center. I'm just dyeing it. And I'm hoping I get the right center. And, and, and don't worry if it doesn't have a perfect curve, it's sideways or whatever. you fix that in a minute. Just glue that on. And you see how easily that was made? So you don't have to worry about buying things and what don't I have or this or that. Whatever you got, use it. And this one was made with two chenille stems. And what we did was at two inches, we bent it forward. There's your stem bent. So, and here's the umbrella as a whole. I know it's a little larger than what my screen allows, but more or less you got it. And it's glued on completely. It already dried. And 
there we go ladies this is tile number two now let me show you one of these already decorated if you want me to decorate with you girls write it below and I will wait to decorate that one with you but I'm going to show you one that I already decorated and that I just find awesome because I just love how it came out same paper and this is the handle I put little glitters let me show you which ones I put on there and they're from Paper Studios and what I did was I just layered them with some glue little by little a lot of patience and that's how my handle looks I haven't finished here I'm gonna put a bow but more or less I was trying to get this done so that I could do style two for you and answer your questions and here I put a lace I put some of those pretty rhinestones here too some flowers um, another lace trim over here that's those pink little ones and I got those if I'm not mistaken in my friend's online store Huckleberry Huckleberry Arts Hobby Lobby has them in a couple of different shades then I use back pleat on the top I use this pretty lace here down here I use these two flowers I forget where I got those two flowers from and it's a lace trim with the flowers on it I added in this filigree with a flower on it and I put a rhinestone on it so you saw that I used this frame and this filigree so what I did on this one was I just added another piece and the flower and then I put these these lace flowers tucked in behind I put these wheat sprays up here I put this charm that has a clock on it here in the front and it has all these little dangles a scissor a key with a rhinestone some more cuteness over here a ribbon a big cabochon and a green metal piece and then along the sides because now you have sides large sides I put this dangling down this trim dangling down I put this pretty wrapper and I told you about this on my on my whole videos but just in case you didn't watch my whole video I buy these in the gift department and they're out of fabric let me move over this so that you can see it and I buy them out of fabric and they're about $2.99 and I actually took two of these only that's all it took and I cut them in half and I put them on here as you can see them on here I put a, a bow up here pretty ribbon and another flower and those flowers you can find right now in Michaels I want you to be able to get whatever you need to get and it brings a 12 can I think they're $3.99 and they were 40% off last week but use a coupon so I used these and so that's the side and along the back because I like to make it look nice in all the parts. I let a little more of the paper show here, but I put this cream eyelet lace trim. And then down on the bottom, put this cluster of fabric flowers, more wheat sprays. And you see a little bit of the, the rim of the metals. This side is the same as the other side. What my two little danglies, love those. Ribbon, flower and these hanging down the little flowers and that I think I got in Joanne's so this is what it looks like finished let me know what you think and at the end I'll have a couple of pictures still pictures of it thank you for watching everybody and have a great day bye